Once again, welcome back to Obstetrics and Gynecology videos. Today's topic is Syphilis in Pregnancy. You can see the lesions of syphilis in this picture. Red color spots you can see over the abdomen of the lady. Syphilis is a sexually transmitted disease caused by the organism Trypanoma pallidum. And the incubation period of this syphilis is 10 to 90 days. And the signs and symptoms, it can be graded into primary, secondary and tertiary syphilis. And signs and symptoms of primary syphilis is in the stage 1, a canker. In the picture, you can see a red color lesion over the skin, which is highly infectious and it is painless. A round ulcerated sore that does not get fast better. That is, it will take 3 to 6 weeks for this lesion to get healed. So, this lesion will be there over the skin. Sometimes it may be in the gentle area or it may be in any other part of the body and sometimes only one single lesion will be there. Sometimes one or two will be there and it will take three to six weeks to heal. Next is secondary syphilis. It is evident by the presence of maculopapular rashes and this maculopapular rash usually will develop within one week to three months after the development of the primary canker and it typically clears in two to six weeks but sometimes it may last up to one year also. The other manifestations along with this maculopapular rash may include wart like genital growth, lymph adenopathy, fever, sore throat, patchy hair loss, headache, weight loss, muscle aches and tiredness. It may be associated with the maculopapular rashes. Next is latent syphilis. After one year, already I have told you that the lesions of the second year, uh, secondary syphilis may last maximum up to one year. After one year, the person will become asymptomatic. And the stage 3 is usually asymptomatic. The spirochete goes to hiding for 5 to 20 years. The patient is seroactive during this stage. During this first year of this stage, the patient is infectious. Actually, after the one year, the patient is not even infectious also. And the tertiary syphilis is fourth stage that is manifestation of the disease. It slowly destroys actually the syphilis which is disappearing from the body. You may think that it has disappeared completely but it will remain inside the body itself. And later slowly it will destroy the heart, eyes, brain, central nervous system and occasionally the liver, bones and skin. That is the tertiary syphilis. The investigations, the serological test venereal VDRL you can do that is venereal disease research laboratory and fluorescent trypanomal, trypanomal antibody absorption test FTA ABS can be done trypanoma pallidum microhemagglutination test also can be done and that is more specific for identifying the microorganism the treatment for the mother for primary and secondary syphilis less than one year duration we can give benzathine penicillin 2.5 2.4 million units intramuscularly as a single dose when the duration is more than one year benzathine, benzathine penicillin 2.4 million units intramuscularly weekly for three doses is given and after the delivery in the case of baby if positive serological reaction is there we can give a single intramuscular dose of penicillin G, 50,000 units per kilogram body weight of the baby. And if the baby is infected with a positive serological reaction, the baby should be isolated from the mother. And intramuscular administration of aqueous procaine penicillin, penicillin G, 50,000 units per kilogram body weight can be given for the baby each day for 10 days. So this will be sufficient for reducing the syphilis in the case of baby if the baby is infected. So these are the main things about the syphilis infection during pregnancy. So thank you for watching this video. See you soon with a, another infection that can affect the pregnancy.